I am Sam back from maternity leave. It feels yes. so Al. It feels so good. Yes. It feels can... so good to be here to see you. I've been isolated for the past yeah. three months. Yeah. Literally like it's... talking to myself in the mirror, doing the show to myself in the mirror. So it, I mean, Sam, what you're doing right now is what a lot of Americans and people all over the world are going to be slowly starting to do. It's like you're back at your old desk. This is your desk and this, these are your coworkers. So like, how does it feel? Are you missing the baby? Yes, course, I do but... have mom guilt. I got to be real. I have a little bit of mom guilt right now, uh, but luckily because of COVID-19 and most of our, our uh, all there is hey, my kids. Baby Miles, don't make a cry this early. Oh my gosh. But because, you know, of COVID-19, one of the positives, I know there's a lot of negatives, but one of the positives is, you know, we're not doing as many shows here. I mean, Tori's doing the early shows. I'm doing the afternoon show. Uh, so being able to work a little bit less so then I can run home and be with the kids. I feel right. like I'm going to have a little bit of both, uh, the best of both worlds. So I think that makes me feel really excited. But just being able to put like makeup on today. Yes. Just being able to like do my hair Back today to your old routine. and to put on a dress today, I feel like myself. Look stunning, by Thank the way. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. How do you look it. better post baby than I do? And I've been working oh, out for months. No, no, it's two. It's not one. It's two pairs of spanks. Hey, it's working. <laughs> my girl. And you've been good. I mean, I, I know we've been talking. Everybody's been good. good. Family's good. Holding it down. Just trying to stay safe and stay healthy like everybody else. You know. God, it's so good to see your face. Yeah. It is so good. And Jeffrey, who I miss immensely, joins us from home. Speaking of good faces. I know. Hi, Jeff. How's it going, Sam? Wow, I wanted to talk to you so bad, Sam, throughout the process, but obviously I wanted to give you some space. We, you know, we kept in touch, you know, through text message. But Tori asked me on Friday, she goes, are you happy to get Sam back? And I kind of giggled, and I'm like, <laughs> Sam is more happy to be back than anybody, you know? Because I know how that feeling is when you have a kid and you can't get out of the house. Don't have that mom guilt, Sam. Take this time to do you. Get back what to, you love doing. And uh, listen, I miss sitting right next to you and having all these, like, parent talks with you so I love that you're back but uh, if you have any questions again feel free to reach out because it's a crazy household in here with two kids and I'm sure you're feeling the same thing well I have to tell you Jeff one of the things that uh, made me laugh the most while I was at home was when I would tune into the show and I would see Jordan and Lawson, sometimes Layton, but I felt like it was mo mostly Jordan and Lawson in the background, like trying to like run away from the camera. <laughs> and it just felt so real. And I missed you guys. And let there me tell you. There you go, right on cue, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get that boy a shirt, Jeff. And, uh, but no, Jeff, you've been uh, quite supportive. You kept checking in on me, especially with the postpartum depression. And uh, that's our show. I mean, we're just so supportive. You see the chemistry between all of us co-hosts and it's because it's real. We really do care for one another. And I appreciate all of you always checking in on me. And I have to say, I became a fan at home. When wow. I was at home watching you guys, you helped me get through the pandemic. You helped me get through postpartum depression. You helped me get through my maternity leave. And you guys just kept me informed, kept me laughing. Tori Showman, let me tell you, girl, watching you shine. You are such a star. It's blinding. I adore you. And you guys just all inspire me. So it was it was really cool perspective, Al, to see you guys all on the flip side from my couch. You guys are just exceptional. Hey, we learned from the best, girl. I don't know about that, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, ma'am. All right, so speaking of the time before the pandemic, there's this trend right now where people are posting pictures of the last thing they did before the coronavirus hit. Al, uh, what was the last thing you did? Was I, it comedy? I, I think it was basically with you guys at the Super Bowl party. Last time we were all together, Dr. Drew was there. I had the round, that's me. <gasps> Come in <laughs> there yes, with the play. Miami Look Vice. Kelly Schubert with us. There's Mike Better. Look at all the kiddos. So yeah. It's like I'll never take barbecues for granted again. I know. Just getting together it's, with your friends. What about you? The list is getting longer and longer, isn't it? Like yeah. what we take for granted. It's everything. Oh, everything. Just the little things. But yeah, I miss those barbecues. Yeah. Um, for me, and then we'll get to Jeff because I can't wait to hear Jeff's response. Uh, for me, I guess it would have to be just being with family, being yeah. with friends, hugging people. Yeah. Uh, was, since I had my baby, my family hasn't Look been able that. to visit. Oh, I yes. know. Because the last thing I did was come to work. Right. I left work when it was lively in February, when there was people here, when the pandemic, there was no shutdown. And then I had the baby and that's when everything happened. I, yeah, like so literally that that's night. That's when everything happened. What about you, Jeff? You know, it's funny, Sam, I was going through my pictures because uh, one of our producers asked us to send something 
And when I finally got to the picture, it was me and my wife out to dinner, like just sitting at the bar because we had someone in town to watch the kids. And just that freedom of me, like, let's walk down the street, get some seafood, have a drink, sit at the bar and just enjoy each other's company. We were celebrating us getting a new house. It seems like forever ago. It does. And it's... now you're trapped in that house, Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> which isn't bad, which nah, isn't not bad. Not a bad life. Yeah, but uh, it can get, when I was trapped in my house for three months, there's days where I loved it. And let me tell you, there was moments where I went insane. No so shame in admitting that. I can imagine you, DBL Nation, are going through the same exact thing. So write us in. Let us know, especially if you participated in that trend of posting a picture of the last thing you did before the pandemic. I'd love to hear about what you did.